Alright guys, so this week in GG Online we have got a Issy style week being the Vespucci job being based on the films The Italian Job. Now, the all of these Vespucci job missions are all the same. I've been I've played a total of three. They all turned out to be exactly the same. I didn't know if they would be different or alternate, but no, they are all the same. So what you have to do we will start with starting as the minis being the runner what you have to do is you have to get a total of 15 checkpoints um sounds pretty simple yes however uh the issy's controls are pretty you know they're pretty sudden you can slide pretty easily um the zone you are in to get these 15 checkpoints is not huge. However, the other members of the team, this is a four player adversary mode. The other three people, because the runners are on their own, the other three people are in police cars chasing down the runner. Now, I know it probably seems very unfair by the sounds of it. One mini versus three police cars. However, however these checkpoints are within buildings and alleyways and tight corners so you need to make sure you are making full use of them tight corners and alleyways because with the issy's controls it can turn a bit sharper at low speeds rather than well better than the police car so you need to be making use of the alleyways as a route rather than just using the main roads because if you just use the main roads you will get knocked about like a ping pong ball on a tennis table just imagine you're the ping pong ball and rather than ping pong bats you've got tennis rackets smacking you about that is what it is like and i mean the gameplay that i've got it's not exactly the greatest because someone had horrible connection I don't know who it was but someone did and I was hitting the mini and it wasn't going anywhere or I would hit the mini into a wall and the mini would then pop behind me so I've crashed into a wall damaging my police car and the mini would be spinning out of control behind me so yeah but you need to be using the tight alleyways now some other things about the runners turn you can see where the checkpoints are obviously on a minimap um, but the police cars being the I think it's the interceptors um, you cannot so the mini can see where he's going the police cars cannot see where the mini is going so the only way as a police car that you're going to be able to know most likely where the runner is going being in the mini is if you have done the mini part before obviously you can do a number of rounds on this so everyone will have a chance to have a go um, but yeah police cars if you're the police you will not be able to see the um, checkpoints that the mini is getting so you will have to go easy on the acceleration because if you're going full throttle with the mini uh, the mini could then suddenly turn right down an alleyway and you're going flying straight forward because you're going too fast. So you're going to have to use strategy and tactics and actually teamwork to be able to stop the runner from achieving all the checkpoints. Now, the runner is able to respawn if he gets stuck in a fence or between two cars against a wall. However, if you respawn, it decreases the time it takes to that you have to obtain all the checkpoints. Uh, I'm not sure how long it is you get, but every time you respawn as the mini, you lose 20 seconds. And 20 seconds could be a lot. You could get you could easily get two or three checkpoints in 20 seconds. Um, so that is something you have to be aware about. Um, what else is there? Like I said, there's all the mich all the adversary modes are the same. They all involve getting checkpoints. Uh, they all involve um, one person being the mini, the other three being the police. 
There may be some others in there, but the only three that I did, they were all, they were all different, and they were all involving getting 15 checkpoints. So I'm assuming they're all going to be the same. Um, being getting 15 checkpoints from a mini. But that's pretty much it the payout isn't too bad being triple money if you're able to if you're able to be on the winning side every single time i think i did a total of three either two or three rounds each time and i got between 50 to sixty-eight thousand dollars um from winning because it's actually surprisingly or not it's actually easier being the mini because like I said, you can see where you're going, so you can kind of plan out a route already. Um, being the police, it's kind of difficult. You kind of just have to try and ram them and hope for the best that you actually do get them. But I'd say, from my experience, it's easier being the mini just because you can see the checkpoints and you can get down aisles, um, alleyways, easier. Also, any staircases that you may come across, there are boards, like planks of wood, on the stairs, so you can get up and down them easily, so you don't necessarily have to go the typical routes of jumping off stuff, but yeah, anyway, so just, it's not very long, but honestly there's not much going on with this adversary mode, they're all pretty much the same, but just a recap, mini drivers being the runners, you can see the checkpoints, you have a time limit to get 15 checkpoints anytime you respawn it will decrease the time by fifth uh, by 20 seconds attackers being the police cars you cannot see the checkpoints uh, the only really defend well the only attack method you have is to either ram them or block them and force them into respawning or just knock them about like a ping pong ball or a foosball whatever you want to call it description wise Whatever is easier for you. Uh, and that's about it, really. That's pretty much all there is. So, hopefully this was a little bit helpful for you. Gives you a little bit of inside information on what it is got to do. If it was helpful in any way, then please do leave a like. And do not forget to leave any comments if you have done these adversary modes and what you think of them. And do not forget, also, if you enjoy the content you, that you get on the channel, along with with any other videos that you enjoy then do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when any videos or updates are unleashed onto the channel and I will see you all in the next one.